It's Lake Manapuri in the background, we caught the boat in. It's a rather nice trip. Bit of blue sky popping around through the clouds, so yeah, we'll see what the day brings. <laughs> Wow, the scenery is looking pretty amazing around here. The day, however, is looking a little bit dreary, so I'm hoping I can keep the camera dry and get some good shots of our adventure here on uh, the Percy Pass Trail. Right, let's get into it. Susie's off. It's Lake Manapuri in the background. We caught the boat in. Rather nice trip, and uh, now we've climbed up, basically following this, these power poles, power pylons, for um, as long as the road continues. A service road just for these pylons, and then it's um, the road ends, and we're going to be doing it a bit tougher. It's a little bit of the climb. Way down there is the lake. Beyond those pylons. Pretty neat. Spin around, basically following these the power lines. So it's Susie climbing. Damn, we've got to catch up now. So from the lake, we've kicked up on the road straight away and been climbing about an hour. How many meters, Suze? 720 meters. Vert so far, we've got the first hills 800, so not too far to go. Lake down there, pretty epic scenery. Thankfully, we can climb mountains all right.
there's a road. Been climbing up pretty steep hill for about 50 minutes now and uh, just following the pylon service road it's pretty amazing backdrop with these mountains and amazing creeks certainly not short on water we can drink out of any of these I'm sure it's very very clean back again Hope everyone's feeling comfortable. You uh, can see the zigzag road up ahead, which hopefully is the top of the first pass. Got a nice lake over here to the right. Nice alpine lake. Here's some birds in the background. They might be kias, they might be uh, an alpine parrot. Sounds like it. Here they come, they're coming straight for us. It's checking us out. <laughs> Cheeky birds these guys, they'll eat your handlebars, they'll eat anything shiny, or metallic, rubbery. Oh, he's still coming towards us. So you can see him on film. Here he is. Quite friendly, aren't they? I may have missed the uh, landscape shot out this way. Oh, two of them now. Very colourful birds underneath there. Wings are all orange. Say hello to the Kias. I've stayed back here because I don't want to scare them too much, but they're pretty friendly. We'll switch over to her camera in, in a second and see if she's got any good shots. Hope so. We've got here a bit of flat stuff, that's nice. Look back to where we saw the Kias, and there's another little mountain lake. Nice light and reflections down there. It's pretty spectacular. And back behind us. Waterfalls coming down from a, a lake that's just up there. Can't stop and investigate everything, we gotta keep cracking on. It's definitely up in the alpine, you see the clouds come over the tops of the hills pretty quick, or mountains, I guess. It's very nice. And a bit of sun, much appreciated. But we're going up this hill, the zigzag, so let's get into it. The landscape here is pretty awesome. Keep stopping to take another shot. Just trying to find the track at the top. We got a, a little bit disorientated. No real clear signs. There's this track here that looks like what we've been climbing, but the uh, pylons go down that way. Some power going through these lines, I'm sure. Guy said on the ferry that if it wasn't for the aluminium smelter, then the amount of power this power station puts out would service the whole South Island. Now we're hoping this is the top of our first big hill. 800 meters climbing we're at 1100 elevation right now we've heard that the 
downhill is so technical that it's a push so I probably won't show you much of this here we go it's all right so far Percy's pass what do we got Holy cow, this is even a riding trail. Yeah. Um, I'll leave mine. I prefer to, my bike goes down the cliff than me. Okay, let's cut the camera because this ain't going to be very entertaining. Just so you don't think it's us being whoops. This is the track. <laughs> This is uh, definitely a section to take care on. This is what we call hiker bike. And I see Susie on her bum down there using everything. This is certainly not rideable. It's just a matter of getting everything through safely. Bike as well as body. Whoops. It's a pretty big drop, pretty big drop down that one. So, here we go, that's the so-called track. Come down the orange markers. Got these nice plasticky soles on our shoes, mountain bike shoes, which are no good on these rocks. We're not complaining, just explaining in case you guys come. The good news is that I can see a road down there. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm just filming at the moment. So as the sign says, we're definitely um, being socks. It's only grade three intermediate, so I guess we should be flying down here. <laughs> grade three, uh, grade three track that we're getting our way down. It takes two of us to lean a bike down or lower a bike down, and I'm not sure what they were thinking. Certainly a good adventure. <laughs> So I was just saying to Susie that the interesting thing about this bike carry that's unusual is that there hasn't been a metre that we felt like we could ride. It's all been carrying the bike, so that's fairly extreme. Downhill is pretty chunky, deep sand and loose, very loose. <laughs> Bounced completely offline. Oh, come on, stand her up. Here we are. That's a bit better. More chunk. <laughs> Gary's going. <laughs> Uh, wasn't as bad as the bit we just did, so and here's the trip. Oh yep. <laughs> that is so deep. Woo, I can smell brake pads. Whoop whoop! <laughs> Cross it over. <laughs> 
so loose, so, so loose. All right. <laughs> uh, so as soon as you get bounced offline and went left myself. Oh Jesus. Oh. Yeah. Middle of nowhere and a nice bit of greenery and a nice smooth trail. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. traction to let the brakes go. Oh, no, that's short lived. Back to where we were. <laughs> Woo -hoo! This is Shallow Lake, which I recently flew into by helicopter. We collected samples as part of a nationwide project on lake health. So on long adventure rides like this that you really appreciate a little bit of smooth road like this. It just feels like heaven moving along nicely at 20 something clicks an hour. Fantastic. Got another zigzag climb to go. Made it to the top of the ball and saddle. 990 meters. Second big climb of the day. Time for a bit of a snack. What have we got? Ball and saddle. You are looking at a world record. This is the largest documented landslide of its time in the world. So the land used to be here, and that lake didn't exist. Wow. Oh, Green Lake, 824 meters, the top of this hill at 1300. It's getting up there, isn't it? Now off the top of the saddle, we've got a fast, smooth downhill, hopefully. A few cars to look out for. Oh yeah, that's fast. Now we're making up time. Piddly bit. Nice bit of tree colour. I've been out now six hours fifty, and uh, I think we've got about another two hours to go, so it's going to be a very long day, and it's That'll be 8.50 on the bike. It's not including the drive to the ferry or the ferry time. So it's whoop. on this nice straight road. It's got a lot of corrugations from the vehicles. So it keeps having to switch lanes or sides just to stay out of these ruts. Yeah. 
out into the farmlands now. Seven hours. Feels like 15. One lane bridge. finished the main ride that other people do and to complete the loop we thought we'd do the highway back to the lake which is 34 kilometers I'm not sure if you can hear it in the microphone but it's a headwind so I'm thinking that with a hill up ahead as well as this headwind is going to be another two hours so it's gonna be a nine hour plus riding day back to where it all began only nine hours 15 minutes ago nine hours 15 was a pretty epic day out we possibly could have been 10 minutes quicker if we didn't have to stop at the Manipuri dairy and smash some Pringles and some chocolate milk <coughs>